Hello, welcome to another video for algebra. In this video, we're going to be uh, solving absolute value equations, or one in particular anyways. This is the standard uh, form for an absolute value equation. This is what you want it to look like before you start uh, actually solving it. So you have the absolute value of ax plus b will equal some c. Okay, so that's, again, that is the standard uh, equation that you want. That's what you want it to look like. So here we have an equation four times the absolute value of 5x minus 3 plus 6 equals 30. So you'll notice that we have additional terms, operations that are attached to my absolute value. I have a times 4 and then a plus 6. So I want to remove those first before I start solving my absolute value equation. So I'm going to, so again, that's what I want to highlight that. So that's what I want to isolate. So I'm going to subtract 6 to both sides. This will eliminate my 6, give me a 24, clean up the equation a little bit, and now I'm going to divide by 4. Okay, So by dividing by 4, I get 6 on the other side, and now my I can solve my absolute value equation because as you can see, it resembles my standard equation ax plus b equals c. Okay, so let's proceed with solving this. Now, so my absolute value bars are there. I want to get rid of those so I can open this equation up to start solving it. So in order to do that, so once I remove my absolute value bars, you're going to see I'm going to make another side of this equation. This is it's going to also equal, because it's an absolute value term, it can also equal a negative 6. Okay, so that will now eliminate my absolute value bars. I'm going to center my equation. Okay, so that's my new equation now. So I have a compound equation and I can isolate x now. So I'll subtract by 3 first. I'm sorry, I'll add 3 to both sides. Okay, so now whatever I do to one, any part of this uh, compound equation, I need to make sure and do it to both. Right, so I'm left with 5x in the middle, and then on the right I'm left with 9, and then negative 3 on the left. Okay, so this is my new equation. Now I just need to divide by 5. I need to divide by 5 on both sides. I've isolated x, and this is my final answer. So x can equal either negative 3 over 5 or 9 over 5, which uh, is, uh, in decimal form would be negative 0.6 or 1.8. Okay, well that does it. Good luck with your studying.